MIDI control of Universal Audio Console is possible. And guess what? The program that allows you to do it is free. Check this out. You're listening to The Dangerous Mind of Mark Yoshimoto Nemkov. No excuses, no BS, no Using a control surface with UA Console takes the whole experience to a new level. It really improves the workflow a lot. And for some reason, Universal Audio has not implemented MIDI, but you can still do it. Thanks to this dude, Radu Varga and UA MIDI Control, which runs on Mac, it runs on Windows. It's free. It's free! There is a paid upgrade that allows you to do more. But the free program is pretty cool. Check this out. All right, hold on. Let me just start this up. So this is a Novation Launch Control XL off-the-shelf MIDI control surface. About 175 bucks US, I guess, I think. I got it a couple of years ago, so it may have changed. But what this allows me to do with the free program, right, is I can go in here and I have control over mute, right? I have fader control, right? So right there, that's really 90% of what I need is to be able to mute and unmute channels, right? And then what I also have control of, because this allows me to map these MIDI controls to different parameters within UA Console. So, for example, like right here, okay, so this... As you can see here, hold on, put the pointer next to it. So this, as you can see, controls my headphone send, right? And then the ne right above it, I control my send to like a remote call, like a Zoom call or a remote session, right? So I can change that level. And then lastly, here, look over here. So I, I mapped the, the top knob up here for my gain. So for my preamp gain. Right, so it makes it makes my life a whole lot easier when I need to just kind of make little changes, so I don't have to monkey around with the mouse and all that. So overall, UA MIDI control is pretty amazing. I really love this thing, and with the paid upgrade, you get control of a lot more functions. Like you can actually get in and change uh, single parameters within your plugin. You can map it here. Hold on, let me just show you the. UA MIDI control. Uh, here we go. So this is the control panel. It's really easy to map and change uh, parameters with your MIDI control surface. It's great. I mean, it really is. This has changed uh, a lot for me. It just makes uh, the whole experience of working with UA that much better. So check it out. UA uh, MIDI control at RaduVarga.com. This guy is, this guy's a freaking genius, man. I love this. So, all right. So one more thing I wanted to mention Go to sonicscoop.com. There is a great interview with Blake Morgan talking about the plugins that he uses, the way he produces stuff, you know, using plugins to get an authentic analog vibe. There's a real, it's like there's a lot of stuff about his studio. He built a studio into a, um, he bought a studio apartment in New York City a long time ago. Uh, next, I think it's uh, like in the same building as where he lives. And then he turned this, this studio apartment into a great, into a great recording studio in, in Manhattan. How great is that? So, uh, here we go. Oh, look, check that out. My microphones. <laughs> so if you want to read about that, if you want to read about his process, there is a lot of great information here. He talks about the UA plugins he uses and the aux and, um, it's a really neat article. I'll put a link in the uh, I'll put a link in the description. But check this out at sonicscoop.com. And uh, yeah, so uh, let me know what you think about UA MIDI control. Let me know what you think about the Sonic Scoop interview with Blake Morgan. And of course, you know, take a look at the at the cool microphones here. <laughs> so anyway, all right, yeah. Leave a comment. And until next time, this is Mark Yoshimoto Nemkov fading to black.